or if you're new here welcome today I have a short Dollar Tree haul and then I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of taste test baking um, from something I found at Dollar Tree that's very exciting so that'll be at the end I'm not doing as much shopping as I used to so I'm very specific with what I get now so this is a few trips this is not just one trip but first off um, because it's coming to the new year and planning and stuff if you're a longer um, watcher you'll know that I love planning and love just stationary <laughs> so I got just this calendar I've usually gotten a lot of them to do DIYs and then I just never seem to have time and let me know if you identify with that but I just never seem to have time so I just decided to get this one this time today is a good day just to try and get into a positive mind frame every day and look at these beautiful beautiful calendar months my favorite is probably love the moment there with the camera it's just yeah that's probably my favorite right there which would be i'm not sure but yeah but they're all beautiful to help me organize this year i really loved this this look it's a weekly planner it's got your to-do list it's got your monday to friday and it's like you just get rid of the day you can it's like paper there's it's like numerous papers so it's nice because you have a record of what you've done things to remember section and this can just sit on your desk and i really like just the calming beige <laughs> it's just like i just i've been very very hectic and stuff and i just want to learn to calm down relax and get things done because when you're hectic you don't always get as much done as you would like because you're just frantic so i'm looking for things to help me calm down we've got goals for the week there important reminder pay attention and yeah and then i know a section here for notes i would say new year new life <laughs> um okay for christmas I'm sure people have seen these. These are um, treat bags, but look at how beautiful they are. I'm using them for DIYs. I've already literally made a cover for a journal for one with, with the whole thing. So I've cut it up because the great thing about it is not only is it this beautiful on both sides, so you've got two, two sides, but it's also got this. So I'm just gonna, quickly show you what I did. I'm going to destroy some of it, but that's okay because we have 10, so really 20 sides. And I've also cut it up into little sections like that as well. But I just want to show you how beautiful it is when you just open the whole thing up. And there we go. Look at how beautiful this is as a journal cover. That's what I've done. It's just gorgeous. And I've kind of cut that so there's no seam there. And it's just beautiful. Yeah, and just like if you didn't see them, it's like Peppermint Candy Bake Shop, a Frosty Diner, Blitzen's Old Fashioned Hot Cocoa, um, Gingerbread Baking. Like these are just so cute. Just that, you know, you could use them, literally put it on like a, a thicker tag and make a Christmas tag out of it for gifts and everything. They're just really cute. And also for DIYing, I got these. Now these have been around probably since the summer, but they are great. You've got how many wooden beads to DIY, or you can just use them as a wreath itself. It's already got a wreath form inside or if you want the beads for like a long stringy bead you can use the wreath form inside you do have to open it and use a wire cutter to open it but after that you've got full access to all these and it's perfect see and they connect here so yeah it's a beautiful beautiful two pieces here that i got and you know, I love these. These are perfect for traveling. These are just a notebook. There's different designs and it's like a little traveler's notebook and they come with two of these inside. I have made art notebooks and put like 
cut down some watercolor paper and put a little made a little booklet for the middle because there actually a lot of room to add things so it it's worked perfectly yeah and i've even added because they're only in by elastics i've even added watercolor paper inside here as well to make it like in the middle of the notebooks as well and they're just beautiful beautiful traveler notebook and the outside is like faux leather on the inside but waterproof plastic on the outside so it's really a great little great little book for a dollar fifty or dollar twenty five in the u.s perfect now i also got some christmas cards because they just look so so pretty and these are the four designs on them we've got a santa claus a snowman and two just merry christmas statements so beautiful and also for the coming year or just for organization in the office i got spread your wings i'm actually going to give this to a friend of mine now it was not bent like that it got bent in the bag because it's been sitting there for a while <laughs> but it's basically an organizer every day and yeah and so it's perfect for people who have a lot of things they've got to look after and figure out and so this is a perfect little little hard cover on the outside and it and it's thin enough to fit in anywhere and yeah oh my gosh you guys i fell in love with these socks they are the aloe socks and they have seasonal ones this is not the only one this is rudolph and this is my favorite because when they're on it's like you've got the stripes but then you've got the top part and it's rudolph it's so cute but they are so soft and so comfortable um i am a little bit of a bigger girl so i find that i can't have socks that go up very much because they tend to be tight but these fit perfect and they go up they're not too thick like the thicker ones they're just the most perfect softness and perfect i love them so much because it goes uh, halfway up into the calf area like just starting to get into the calf area they do have longer ones as well sorry shorter ones as well that just go, are the foots are foots but i like these ones the best they also had one that was like i think it was an elf and then they also had like a Sa santa claus like buckle one that are all red at the bottom and then there's a black buckle <laughs> which are very cute and i've got them all but i think i bought this one three times one for me and then i got one for my husband because he loved them and then i got another one for me because i just love them so much <laughs> and then i just got these because you can do anything with these. You can make an ornament for Christmas. You can make dice because they look exactly like dice. I like. I, I plan to actually use one and make like a travel dice of where do we go next and have different cities on each one. I make make a couple of them like cities in Europe, cities in North America. <laughs> but you can paint them kids will have love love to go and paint i mean these are great to to diy with i also got these so cute you know i had to run run to the store and get the peanuts you know i had to get the peanuts over 100 stickers 12 pages of full color scenes uh you know because snoopy snoopy i mean snoopy is the best you cannot beat snoopy and then we've got the scenes you can put stickers in or you can do something else with the scenes i like to use the stickers differently and then it's also an activity book as well and we've got charlie brown snoopy is that linus i think it might be linus yeah and then there's more stickers at the end there's so much stickers they're smaller but they're still amazing i mean who doesn't want all of those that's so cute and then I got, you know, the traditional Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie stickers because, I mean, that that just, from my youth, I loved this movie and it's like literally the animation and it's a very specific animation and just beautiful. So I had to pick this one up as well. Yeah, some more of the stickers. Just beautiful, beautiful stickers. I just love this. You know, does anybody have a favorite um, Christmas movie? I would say Charlie Brown Christmas is mine. But 
<laughs> and it's a wonderful life. I know it, it's, they're not, they don't match in any way, but they're both beautiful films. <laughs> I just got some pens because I love zebra and I love gel pens and I just wanted a collection. I couldn't seem to find any pens that were not black. I, I just couldn't find any in my stash even though I know I have so much. So I just wanted some different colors and some gel pens. Yeah. And zebra is a great company. They flow very, very well. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen in Dollar Tree Canada, they have resin now. Now they are selling out and it's very hard to find the actual resin, but you can still easily find the resin, the, um, the molds and the additions. I've misplaced some of mine, but I did wanted to show you the resin. So we've got the A and the B. It's very small. Um, there's only, I think, yeah, there's only one ounce in each one. So basically, if you don't know resin, you actually need both the A and the B in order to for it to harden. One is a hardener, one is the resin. So you have to have both. So basically, they're $1.50 each here. And so it's for two for two ounces of resin, it's $3, which is not a great price, but it's not a terrible price either. If you're new to resin, which I am, this is a great way to start. I have tested this against some Timu resin, and this is much thinner and probably easier to work with. The other one was much thicker. They both ended up a great result, um, but this was much thinner, which means it didn't hold as many bubbles. Does that mean it's a lower quality? I don't know because I don't know much about resin, but um, I did use both and I like them both. Um, I will have a different haul about the Timu resin. I have tried some Five Below resin. It was terrible in that package of Five Below resin and um, molds. Oh, it was the worst. It, I was I almost stopped doing resin because of how bad that was. And I wanted to show, they're not in the package because I have used them. Uh, this is the cutest mold. It's a paw with a little heart. It turns out so beautifully. I gave it to a friend of mine, the one I made, but it was so beautiful the way it turned out. And these molds are so surprisingly good for the price of $1.50 really good because sometimes I noticed with the five below, the whole five below molds there was there was a roughness to the end result and I'm sure it was because of the mold whereas in this one it's perfect it's absolutely perfect and then there's the goyed goyed go goed uh, sorry <laughs> for anybody I don't know how to say it right now but yeah, yeah, and this one ended up just as beautiful. Um, I do have some other molds, but I couldn't find them um, uh, for there's keychains. And I haven't tried them yet, but I'm sure they'll be just as amazing as, the, as these ones. There's keychains. There is a, um, a light switch cover. So you can make a beautiful light switch for your home. And there was earring ones. But the problem with the earring ones is you get three, ty three types of earring, but you only get one of each in the mold. So if you want to make them matching and, and you're playing with the resin, you really have to have two sets, which I got. And in a later video, I'll probably do some resin and show people the results. Let me know if you're interested in that. But yeah, now they also sell, which I also got one little pack but I misplaced that bag somewhere. I'm not sure. I will find it for next time. But they have like little tiny things of inserts for resin, like little tiny stars and stuff. They also have some mica powder, which was a great deal. But I would say the inserts and the sparkles are not a great deal. Because at Dollar Tree, for the exact same price, you can get <laughs> you can get these much bigger, like three, four times the size. And there's, I think, six of them in those. And these are probably three times the size of all of it. Um, and you can get gigantic for the same price. And then I also got a blue one because I love the sky and the sparkles and stuff. Now, I did get one of them because they had little... Um, 
notes like musical notes and I liked that but otherwise just get these ones if you just want some spark sprinkles and sparkles to put in your resin stuff get those <laughs> okay now I also got this I haven't tried it yet I actually got this a while ago and I haven't tried it yet I do want to try it it's an electric nail kit um if anybody has tried it, let me know. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get the chance to try it, but hopefully soon. And when I do, I might have a trying video and let me know if anybody's interested in that as well. But yeah, it comes, it's a four piece set. It's one electric base holder, one shaping tool, one cuticle pusher and a buffing tool all in one. I don't know how powerful it is yet. I will let you know. Now we're here, this, is what we're going to taste test but we are not going to taste test this guess what this is this is rice crispy cinnamon i will say dollar tree is starting to raise their prices to two dollars very disappointing very disappointing because not long ago they have raised it to 150 now it's two dollars they just didn't want to raise it all at once ah, anyways <laughs> different story but I was so excited to try this because you know why I want to try this I wanted to make rice crispy squares with this I haven't tasted it I will show a clip of me putting it all together right now and we're gonna come back and taste test it okay guys here we go if you don't know um they actually give you a shopping list on the top of the box and then you can go inside and have the full instructions to make Rice Krispie Squares. That's just really cool because they know 90% of the people that's what they're doing with their <laughs> Rice Krispies. So we're starting with a quarter cup of margarine, six cups of Rice Krispies and 250 grams, which is usually one package of marshmallows. So we're supposed to start with melting the margarine or butter. I'm using margarine because it's what I had in the house over low heat maybe turn it up a little bit so that is that and then after that we stir in you can use vanilla extract optional I do have some so I might do that it's half a teaspoon so nothing and then we're supposed to do this and then add marshmallows and then add the vanilla so I'm gonna speed this up for everybody can't find the vanilla, so it doesn't matter. Okay guys, here we are, we have it. I am a little concerned though, because, because look at all that cinnamon at the bottom. Like, did it not go in? It's like, should I have shook the box up first? I'm not sure, we shall see. I have cut it already. It was a little hard to cut, but I think that's because I accidentally kept it on the heat when I was putting the Rice Krispie squares in and I wasn't supposed to. So I think I overheated the, the marshmallows but it looks amazing and it smells amazing but once the marshmallows are fully on it it doesn't smell as cinnamony as when i just opened the bag and i'm wondering if maybe i should just sprinkle that cinnamon on top <laughs> yeah. but let's try it mm -hmm. mm. Oh no, it is definitely cinnamon enough. Cinnamon -y enough. Oh my gosh, this is like a wonderful Christmas treat. Or even just a fall treat, but Christmas, like it's just, yeah. It reminds me of gingerbread houses, only with marshmallows. What can you, you can't do better than that. And it actually isn't that hard to eat. And it's not hard. It was just because I just put it out of the oven. I mean, out of the 
fridge at that point because I put it in the fridge to cool it quickly. And this is amazing. I'm trying to eat healthy, so I really don't want to go get another box, but I really want to get another box because, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Anyways, if you like Rice Krispie Treats and cinnamon, like cinnamon toast, or um, go get this and make it. <laughs> Oh, good guys. Okay, if you like what you see, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, I do have a lot more coming up. Subscribe and join me. <laughs> Everyone have a wonderful, blessed day and stay beautiful.